a sneaky kiss. Don't be shy, you're on camera. Lovely steam engines, get ready for the day. Maybe a quick polish. A proper job, as they say in Norfolk. This is the 11th Vintage Farming Weekend. This is held at Little Ellingham in Norfolk. Where people from all walks of life get together and show off their old farming vehicles and machinery. An early start for the plowing match. Where tractors compete to see who can do the best plowing. That one looks a bit of a struggle. And spectators are already there. All manner of vehicles take part in this competition. From the small little one-man jobbies like this one, to bigger tractors like the Massey Fergusons. What a wonderful sight. Even people come out with these little pumps which they maintain and just sit there all day just watching them pump water. I think you need a lot of patience to sit there doing this. Old stalls with vintage vehicle parts. Time for a conversation. Old farming signs for sale and lots of knickknacks. And vintage tractors line up for their demonstration in the main ring. These old vehicles are lovely maintained by the owners. Oh, what's he looking at? <laughs> ah, another doggy. And some more tractors going off for the plowing competition. and the wonderful Massey Ferguson tractor. I've actually driven these myself when I was a child when my dad worked on farms. And a poor little elephant attached to this one. This event is in aid of the Air Ambulance and it's a, it's a great cause to raise money for as many rural accidents happen. And a refreshing demonstration. Wow, look at all the belts on this machine. Time for a photo. Yeah, straw is put in the top. Comes out already chopped up like this. Put 
put through another machine, comes out ready bailed. I think this is a common sight in days gone by. Time for a hot dog. And the coos are building up here. <laughs> Lovely, nice hot summer's day and time for an ice cream. <laughs> More stalls. and the craft tent. What a wonderful array of teddy bears. Another array of cards, all handmade. And another smaller steam engine. Done a demonstration of its workings. <laughs> Master Potter. And the heavy horses given their demonstration as well. The judge there is looking out for confirmation. Lovely Suffolk punch. This one's quite a youngster. They walk away from the judge and they get turned round and they have to trot back towards him so he can watch their legs to see if they're running straight. This one's a little bit of a novice. Ah, oh, he should have trotted back. <laughs> anyway, they carry on walking around the judge and they'll pick out the, the best one that he thinks has got the best confirmation. Closer inspection. And conversation again with spectators watching on. Ah, lovely little steam engine giving rides around the farm. And another steam engine. Steam roller. Just think these were used on farms as well in the past. You quite often get stuck behind one now on the roadways when you're in your modern cars. Well, this is an unusual little engine.
and the steam engines given display in the main ring as well. Oh, little and large. Hope that large one sees that small one beside him. Why do you might end up going just underneath him? Oh, I love it. That's beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely little engine. The owners of these all lovingly restore their engines. They must spend a fortune and lots and lots of hours on them. There's always one. There's always one. And vintage cars. This one's an old American car, I believe. An old Morris Minor, I think. Oh, yeah, Morris. Army Jeep. Another old car. Oh, little Austin. I don't sure whether that big car at the back there was a Rolls Royce. That one. Complete with Dalmatian. What a beautiful car. Oh look out, here come the ex very expensive motorboats, which I think you need a mortgage for to have one of these. I just imagine they're very heavy if you try to pick one up or lift it. We wouldn't actually pick it up, but you know what I mean. Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. We are the Goldwing Club of Great Britain. And we are the region called Bears, which stands for Broadland East Anglian Region. Today we've got a selection of motorbikes for you to look at. Unfortunately, we haven't got the 1000cc uh, one here, or the trike with a disabled gentleman on his down the bottom. He's not feeling too good at the moment, so he won't be here. In our boxes and take them back home. So we're just about getting ready now for the uh, falconry display. And as I'm standing here looking out, I can see uh, some of the short horses doing a little bit of plow and doing a little bit of plowing on the land. And time for a falconry demonstration. Don't ask me to do it again. I've done it once. Come on. Come on. He says, I'll cheat. I'll walk on the floor first. And that's not a trick he's learned. I'm just going to go out a little bit wider. Keep myself away from the speakers. Um, in his box. No. Falcon is an age old art. There'll be no black on it whatsoever. Big wings and that big broad tail is to actually manoeuvre through okay. the wind. 
So what we're going to do, so obviously she's not that fit and we haven't actually trained her and got the time to train to go off and gain great height to do it. Plus, when they're up there, it's a lot harder to keep track of them and uh, keep them down here where you guys can see them as well. Someone ducked there, Tim. Did someone they, duck? They, they ducked. Oh, did they I ducked. forget to you tell missed. them about the £5 you pound fine? You missed it. Well, yeah, if you duck, it's a £5 pound fine. It must be that lady there because she's put herself inside a coat. You don't like birds, yet you've come to watch a falconry display. That is woman logic, that, isn't it? That can only be a lady that does that, isn't it? Now, just look how well she's spilling the wind from her wings. She's going to land on the perch this time. She said, Mum, you're the wrong way of the wind. But she's just using that towel. Actually, to show him the lure, the swung lure. Here we go. And there's his dinner time called Ho. Every time he's been fed on that lure, Marty has shouted the word Ho. Some people use a whistle. I use the word Ho. Or the, at the end of my tether. It's a falconry term. It's nothing to do with being stressed out with your kids or anything like that. It's actually a falconry term. And what I would do is say to Marty, how are you getting on with your falcon in its training? He would say, at the end of my tether. Now that would say to me that his bird is jumping from his perch or a frame the length of his leash. So once he's done that, three or four days, he would then move on to what we call the creance, which is what Vinny's attached to now. And you can see he's used, not only a young bird, and he's a bit wobbly in the wind. He will get better as time goes on. And what we then do is increase the length of the creance. But we're not gonna go too far today because this ground will pull the creance, we can't keep the creance off the floor enough. And uh, that'll pull him back. And that into a ditch, it's about four foot wide. The only ditch that had water in it. So there she is, spread eagled in this ditch, laying on top of the water. I'm thinking, I can't leave you there too long, love, because you're gonna get wet and drown. So in I wade, and just as I get to her to pick her up, she takes off. <laughs> Lands just on the bank. Luckily enough, I scrambled out, I got hold of her legs, and we got her back but that took me all of an hour. So things do go wrong. Hopefully today will be the same as yesterday and very well. Now, the young falcon you saw is a hybrid falcon and so is this one. The one over there is a peregrine saker hybrid. This one is peregrine lana hybrid. Now we have the peregrine in them for the speed. This is a magnificent Percheron heavy horse, pulling a lovely hay wagon. Wonderful sight. Some people will start and have them in a light work. One of his beer in them barrels. Um, these boys really don't set. To, that's just done its display. It's got springs underneath. And if you look at this beautiful agricultural wagon that's coming in today, it has no springs underneath. And if you look at it, completely different again. It would have been used for carrying a load with the wheels being slightly different with the bigger ones on the back and the smaller ones on the front and with the harness being different for an agri horse. Of course you mustn't forget that heavy horses were used on the farm for ever so many years up years until the First World War when most farm animals unfortunately were taken into the war. That changed the face of uh, farming really, the First World War did. Now, thanks to enthusiasts we still have a few of these heavy horses going around now doing demonstrations and there are occasional farms that still use them. a few different types of wagon and using them. We found that on the spindle that holds the wheel on, on the shaft, a lot of these wagons have actually got a date printed on them. So no doubt, probably 
probably on Mrs. Harvey's cart when they grease it up ready for the season. It's got a date on there as well, which has actually got a date of 1916 on it. And made in Leeds. 1916 and made in Leeds. And some more horses now coming in for another parade. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's get these horses in here today. Anybody else just like to start filtering in for me, please? the members they've all traveled from different counties Norfolk Suffolk Cambridge Lincolnshire way right the way out to the North Norfolk coast we can't thank these guys enough for coming out to support this event we can't thank mr. Bradley enough for coming to judge our Eastern Counties Heavy Horse Association annual in hand championships and we thank you very dearly we thank Martin who's been one of our stewards today this young lady is one of our youngest hand. If we could just have a photo of the two of you together, I'm going to step right out of the way. Georgie Wright has been one of our most successful young handlers that we've probably ever had in the association over the years. Standing first place at the Suffolk, respectable third at the Norfolk. Not only that, she won at Bakewell Show last year to qualify for young... And at the end of the day, is a presentation of a cheque to the Air Ambulance Association of money raised from the last year's event. And here's looking forward now to the 12th Little Ellingham Vintage Farm and Weekend.